I'm joined by Vanan Weber, who is a core team member at Babylon JS. Thank you very much for joining us, Vanan. You're about to give a talk later on Web VR and integrations with uh, Babylon. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. Babylon JS is a 3D web engine. We will talk about the, how we interact with virtual reality and the web. Uh, we'll see how Babylon offers the developers the tools to do that with very simple uh, code. Uh, and and, the, and yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, fine. So, um, what are some of the the pros and cons of using Babylon and with uh, well in web VR? We, Babylon, we think simplicity is one of the base principle for each for every framework. So we try to keep it as simple as possible for the developer, and we want to allow the developer to also change whatever he needs in order to get to the experience he wants, but still starts without learning the framework. So what can we expect to see in your talk? What, what are the, the key takeaways that we hope to see? Well, we'll I'll, I'll first talk a bit about Babylon. We'll see what Babylon is and later see the integration about web, web VR. We'll see a lot, a lot of demos of uh, how to interact with the controllers, with the, the headsets. And uh, we'll see demos that were made by the Babylon JS core team. And we'll see also the code of how to, how to get to that. So .NET 2018 is being hosted by Plain Concepts, and you've worked a little bit with Plain Concepts on Sponsor Treasure. Can you mm -hmm. tell us more about that and your working relationship with Carlos, et cetera? Car during the development, Carlos uh, discussed with me quite a lot of uh, the steps during, the during his development. So whenever he had a question, I was the one to, to actually help him from the Babylon core team. It was wonderful working with Plain Concepts. They made tremendous work. And this game is, is amazing and should be played as much as, <laughs> as, much as you can. Now, I recently heard uh, the phrase about VR in general. Everybody's heard of it, but nobody's used it. How do you feel about that? And where do you see the, the future of VR, especially web-based VR? I think the minute the headsets will be more broad and in each house, we will see VR in much more, m many other places. Uh, VR right now is very much reserved for gaming and for people who really want to experience it. And the minute the headsets will cost, will cost less, web VR will be, more, will be broader and will be used by more developers. We will see, we will see virtual reality all over. And Babylon will be on track with that, especially with untethered headsets? Babylon is always trying to be uh, ahead of everyone else and, and implement everything that is needed to create this ex the experience needed for virtual reality. Ron and Weber, thank you very much. Thanks.